I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the pinch zone with the stag beetle. One, two, three. Look at this, look at this. You got something? Look at that. That's a stag beetle. Mario! Yeah? I got a stag beetle. Okay. Bring beetle. that little bug container up here. We gotta film with this. Okay, yeah, I'll give him the container. You got it in your backpack? Yep. That's a stag beetle. Some sort of stag beetle. There's many different species. Wow. Trying to climb up here. Just filming B-roll, getting these extra shots. And uh, sure enough, come around the back side of this log and there is an enormous beetle. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up. Okay. Come here, buddy. Oh, don't get pinched, don't get pinched. Wow, he's strong. Got it. Whoa. That's crazy. Wow, oh, yeah, check this out. You guys can see this. Uh, like I was showing you the B-roll shots, this environment's really tough to walk around in, but this is perfect beetle territory with all this decomposing wood. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put a, oh, just grab like a, a piece of moss or something. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, good thing we have this little bug carrier with us. In you go, buddy. Oh, he's pinching onto it. Nice. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah stag beetle. Nice. We'll bring it down and let's, uh, Let's get a little scene with it. All right, I'm gonna put it in my backpack. Yeah. Let's see. Wow, that's a, I consider it a big one, right? That's big, great yeah. job, dude. All right, down we go. Oh. Yes, stag beetle. This is so cool. Definitely a creature that we have not featured on the channel before. All right, let's, uh, let's find a good spot to set up. And then we'll get a scene. Oh, check this out, Mark. Yeah, let me see it. This thing is super cool. Look at that. Oh, oh, whoa. Yeah, right? Check that out. Here, pull it out of the container real quick. Watch yeah. your fingers, though. Watch your fingers. Here, he's kind of tangled up inside of this. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on there, buddy. Oh, nice. Look at that, right? Great stag. Pretty cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, here, let's uh, just get him back into the container. Grab, a, grab him by the thorax there, Mario. You want me to put the whole thing? No, no, no. Just put him in like that, because he's just going to grip onto that stuff. Sweet. Okay, cool. I just want to be on that for uh, coming down the hillside. Nice, dude. dude. Nice climbing, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I guess uh, filming B-roll pays off. And now we're going to get another episode. This is great. All right, cool. All right, let's go over here into the light. Yeah, better light. Yep. Woo! All right, cool. This is a good spot. Much better light. Super dark up there in the forest. And this is the Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit bug container. We brought it out for some product photography and putting it to good use. This was perfect because I didn't want to try to slide down the hill with this beetle in my fingers. I mean, if I drop it, it's going to disappear into the underbrush. What a cool find. All right, I'm going to set this down and take the bug out. I put a little leaf in there so it wouldn't bounce around when I was uh, walking. Yeah, for the reveal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, he's hanging on. Buddy. Oh yeah, grip onto that leaf. There we go. Oh man. Oh, what a big guy. Whoa, you can really see it now. Right? All right, now I'm gonna get that leaf off of there. Come on, let go of that leaf. Oh, they are so strong. Look at that, I can just rip that leaf apart. Man. And it just shreds up in Not the Not letting go of that leaf. There we go, there we go. Uh, those little legs are like grappling hooks. So what I'm gonna do is place it on my finger. Maybe it will just stay right there. It's going to hook on and hopefully we can get this scene. You gonna hold on. Oh, balancing act. Here, get this little leg out. There we go. Now he's happy. Now the male stag beetles are much larger and much more defined than the females. This is, ow, no pinching. This is without question a male. Now there are many species of stag beetles. And I said this to the GoPro when I was up there catching it. I'm not sure exactly which species this is. We're gonna have to look it up, but it is without question a stag beetle of some sort. Now they get that name, ooh, ooh, come here. Oh, it's hooking on again. They get that name from those front mandibles. If you zoom in on them there, Mario, 
you can see that they almost look like the antlers of a deer. Uh, they look very intimidating, right? And you may be thinking to yourself, wow, I bet this beetle can give you a pretty powerful pinch. Let's see how bad the pinch of the stag beetle really is. Are you guys ready? If you're ready. Oh, you're just going right for it. I'm going right for it, but I'll give you the classic intro. You ready? All right. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the pinch zone with the stag beetle. One, two, three. Ah! Hey, dig. He's been down pretty good there, but not powerful enough to break skin. Now, actually, what will get you more than the pinchers is the little grappling hook-like legs. Go ahead and zoom in there. They have all these tiny hooks that almost look like fish hooks, and when they grapple onto your skin, they dig in. When you try to pull the insect off, of you, it just locks in place, and uh, that's actually more painful than the mandible pinch. It appears as if they would use those mandibles to catch and kill their prey, to crush it, to pinch it. But these insects are actually herbivores. They eat nectar and fruits. Now, during the breeding season, they use those stags for not only display, but also to battle against other males for the rights to a breeding territory. The body design of this insect is just so cool. As you guys know, insects break down into three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And if I turn the beetle up like this, Look at its head. It almost appears as if it's wearing a helmet. And when you look at those mandibles, you can see why this is such an intimidating little insect. Now look off to the side here. You see these little antenna? It almost appears as if there are fingers just at the tip. Those are little chemical sensory organs that help them investigate their environment. Now if I also hold the beetle like this and you zoom in real tight, you can see all these goldish hairs running over the course of the exoskeleton. Uh, holding the beetle like this, I actually have to exert quite a bit of power because of how strong this insect is. Now, pound for pound, the stag beetle is one of the most powerful insects on the planet. Now, the exoskeleton is incredibly rigid, really strong, really hard. It's like armor plating. Be very tough to squish this beetle. And they are actually capable of flying. Can you see these two? protective shields over the abdomen, there are actually wings underneath there. Now, because this insect is so heavily bodied, it cannot fly long distances. But if it needs to move from spot to spot quickly, it can do that. Of course, oftentimes to escape something like a predator or to move from territory to territory during breeding season. And you can see it's just investigating my arm right now and using those grappling hook-like appendages to hold on. Now, this time of year between September and October, you will see these beetles moving about, getting ready for breeding season, but they die shortly after. They actually only have a lifespan of about a year from larva or grub state to adult when they emerge and then breed. Uh, there are a number of different beetle species that live here in Japan. In fact, beetles are considered little cultural icons. People collect beetles, people trade beetles. They are highly regarded in Japanese culture as just this cool little insect that only comes out once a year and people certainly admire them for what they are. Pretty cool, right? Oh yeah. Man, what an awesome little bug. All right, well let's get this guy back up into the underbrush so he can continue his day searching for nectar. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right. It is time for the climb back up the hillside to release the beetle. All right, come here, little buddy. There he goes. If you thought getting pinched by this giant beetle was entertaining, make sure to go back and watch the episode where I was pinched by its Costa Rican cousin. Youch! That one was painful. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure.